like a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning from the Mesquite Sand Dunes here in Death Valley. This place is just simply magical. Um, so we got up super early this morning. The uh, wind was blowing a gale. So we we're expecting some pretty epic sandstorm conditions down here at the dunes. It's only about 15 minutes from a campsite I arrived here and uh, not, a, not a bit of wind in sight. It's like very small breeze, and uh, which is a little bit disappointing because I was really looking forward to um, capturing some really windy conditions here at the dunes because it just creates so much atmosphere. But uh, it's still been a, a, like an extremely beautiful morning. Um, I've just been waiting for the sun to come over this ridge here to try and get a sun star, but there's like a little bit too much cloud cover on the horizon, so it's not going to work out. But yeah, just been working with lots of really nice, pristine sand dunes. As I said, it was, uh, we had about 50 mile an hour winds last night, so it's just cleaned the dunes right up. There's, there's literally no footsteps out here except for the couple of photographers that have come out here. It's just amazing, which is very rare for mesquite sand dunes. Um, yeah, we had some really nice light. A um, little bit of pink on the um, sunrise side of the mountains, and then behind us, there was uh, the sky just totally lit up, and of course, I wasn't set up for any compositions that way, so I sort of Ran around like with like a headless chicken for five minutes trying to get a couple of compositions, but we'll see if something come out of it. Um, but yeah, I'm liking the composition I was working with here. Just a nice S, S curve of a uh, of a sand dune. Not shooting too wide, sort of around 24 millimeter, um, and actually out to 35 millimeter sometimes as well. Um, but now with the sun being up, I want to try and work on some more sort of abstract slash black and white sort of photography around here because the dunes with the, um, with the light and the dark side of the dunes, it just creates a really nice contrast for the black and white images. So yeah, it's definitely plenty to work with. And this dune up here, you can see, and it's the biggest, biggest dune in the, uh, in the area. So I wanna make my way up there, I think, and then see what we can capture. You can probably see that sun on my face now. It's pretty nice golden light. All right, guys, well, we'll see what else we can find around here. And yeah, just, Enjoy the serenity, it's absolutely beautiful. Like every time in my vlogs, I've got to double track everything I do. Are you sure you even got it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a treadmill. <laughs> That's going in the vlog. That's awesome. <laughs> I've just been working compositions for the last sort of half an hour and uh, it's quite amazing how long the light stays so soft and diffused and just absolutely stunning around here. I guess there is a little bit of overcast cloud uh, covering the horizon line. But yeah, so I'm heading up to this journey that was just adjacent to where I was before just to see what other sort of compositions I can get. I've got to say, it's quite the workout, walking up and down dunes. Oh, sweet little shadow. But yeah, so I've got the long lens out now, as you can see. Just zooming right into like 120 to 200 millimeter. Trying to isolate nice curves and things. Just so stunning. I'll see you guys at the top. I wanna go this under. I know we're going somewhere. Into the danger zone. All 
Right, so I've made it up to the top of the dune here and the light has come out from behind the clouds and the contrast is just absolutely incredible. So I've still got the long lens on. Uh, I'm shooting at actually 70 millimeter for this photograph. Um, and it's, it's crazy with the, with the line of the dune like curving down through the, through the image. There's just, it's just like night and day on each side of the image. It's kind of, kind of crazy with the contrast. It's just amazing. Um, and what I've actually done is I've switched to the monochromatic um, picture profile on the camera and that's just given me better visual, like, visualization in regards to the black and white imagery, which is what I'll be shooting this in, um, or ed editing it in. <clears throat> so yeah, as you guys can see, I'll flip you around here. You can sort of see on the back of the camera there, you can just see the contrast. It's kind of amazing. And if you look, just look around in every direction, back down this dune, just epic contrast, sand dunes everywhere. Super cool. Every direction. So yeah, I'm gonna um, probably spend about another 20 or 30 minutes here and then um, head back to camp. So I'll be back here for a sunset outing for sure. Well, that brings this morning's mission in Mesquite Sand Dunes to an end. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this little journey and uh, please be uh, sure to stay tuned for part two where I come out here for a sunset mission. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the images and the vlog itself. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you're not already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace. Thank you.